The first step that I focus on in this book is Bible study. I believe that Christians only is strong in his faith and in his spiritual life as his mastery of the Word of God. Jesus himself said that we don't eat by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds forth from the mouth of God. When I was first converted, I joined a little prayer group in our college community, and, and maybe two or three weeks after I'd been converted, they had a visitor on campus who was dating one of the girls in our group, and he was a seminary student, and he pulled me aside in one of these prayer meetings, and he said to me, or say, get in the book. <laughs> I never forgot that because uh, I was nurtured in the Bible, not only in Bible classes in college, but every night I spent 45 minutes to an hour going through the Bible book by book and verse by verse. And I, I believe that the first virgin reading I had of the Bible from cover to cover had the greatest impact of my Christian life then and on to this day. I'm also convinced that when we're studying the Bible, we're studying not the collected insights of ancient thinkers or prophets, but I believe that the Bible is nothing less than the unvarnished Word of God. And Remember when, when Jesus encountered Peter after the resurrection and he asked him three times, Peter, do you love me? And Peter, who had denied him three times, now affirmed three times his profound affection for his master. But you could see that he was getting increasingly agitated as Jesus repeated the question. But the answer each time when Peter said, yes, you know that I love you, Peter said then, feed my sheep. And his sheep are believers. And believers, in order to grow, need to be nurtured and they need to be fed. And we get that feeding from our pastors and from our mentors and family circumstances. But at the same time, each person has to get deeply involved in the Word for him or for herself.